Kelly, how are you? It's Wednesday, let's do a grocery haul. Check it out. Well, hey everyone, thank you so much for joining with me today. If we haven't met before, I'm Kelly. I'm the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. And on this channel, we do a variety of frugal and fun things. We have Money Monday, Wednesday is our grocery hauls and anything else food related. And on Friday, I'm doing a no buy year. So you can join in my adventures and check out what I'm up to each week. If you're enjoying the kind of content that we have around here, why not subscribe and join our Frugal Fun family? You can also join us in our Facebook group. All the links are down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give us a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Say, hey, if it's your first time here. If not, you want to tell me anything, leave me a comment because I love chatting to you guys. But also Facebook if you want to have a chat over there. So yes, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. We have three things going for you today. We have our grocery haul, we have our clearance haul, and also what's for dinner. So I'm going to say goodbye now, and you're going to see all those things, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Okay guys, here is everything that we bought from Coles. We paid $72.61, and we're in week two of our flybys offer so second week we get 2000 points and again i went in store just throwing away my receipt uh, and got it didn't do any online shopping so no bonus points for us but i got what i want because also you can't get clearance items online only for the markdown sneaky shoppers that find them in store so let's show you what we got um this was a couple of days ago I'm only getting around to filming it so of course we have a few empty packets to show you so first one is the wedges that we get family favorite and to go with the wedges we have our sour cream this has gone up in price don't talk to me <laughs> we got some celery because it was marked down that went super quick in our house and I got a pack of apples because I'm going to put these in a crumble. I got some bananas. There were four. And I also did get some grapes. Place picture here. They were on special. And then in the deli, I got Kira some chicken loaf. I grabbed from the juice section some pine mango and some apple splash. These were on sale and also we get 10 cents reward. Let me find the picture. There it is. 10 cents cash back when we put these in. So it makes it less than a dollar per litre. Chalk chip cookies. These aren't as good as the Coles ones that come in a box, but they will tide over little snackers. We got a block of cheese that I see has been attacked. <laughs> I got this oat milk for Kara and she says, <laughs> so it must be okay. We're always on the lookout for oat milk. This one has a base in it of the canola oil, which is the one that we want. You can get ones with a base of canola oil or you can get ones with sunflower oil. The canola oil seems to be a better taste and consistency. So this one being the Coles brand, I thought we'd give it a go. It was only $3.50. She said, eh, put it that way. I didn't get any complaints. So I'll take the eh as it was fine. I didn't really have any major issues with it. So I'll probably get another couple, see how we go because it's cheaper than buying the other milks that are $4.80 when they're on special. I got a packet of, two packets of Herbert Adams, the slow cooked beef with portobello, mushroom and merlot. And then the Herbert Adams chicken and leek creamy cabernet sauce. I got onto these because her ordinary mum had them in her grocery haul and I thought I'm gonna give it a go because I happened to stumble across some of the single ones that were marked down, so it called my name. And 
we loved them. Love, love, loved. I saved the chicken and leek ones for Kira and have the Coles ones. Let me grab them. These are the ones I grabbed from Coles. They're chicken and vegetables. I really like them. It's just that they have peas in them, so Kira doesn't like them. Yes, they're not quite the same as the Herbert Adams, but I think they're pretty on par. So I have one of these because a packet of four is only $3.85. The Herbert Adams were on big, big special. I still only got two packs each because we only have them about once a week to make sure we go through them. But this is a good alternative, so helping to save a little bit of money. And then there's products for everybody else. Okay, back to your regular programming. Do I need to even say anything about this? We have some peanut butter because we ran out and you need peanut butter to go with celery. We ran out of garlic aioli sauce and you need that with the chicken loaf which goes inside sandwiches. We get the soft multigrain bread. Our sandwiches need to go into Ziploc bags because people travel a lot for school and uni. It, it is what it is. We don't have lunch boxes because a lot of people just have super small bags. We have this bag. I know the whole thing about reusable plastic and everything else. Probably if something leaves the house, it's not coming back again. So if it's in this, so be it. Then we got the snack bags as well because, again, I need something that I'm not going to be worried about that it's not going to return to the house. And we got two packs of the muesli bars, chocolate chips from Coles. Oh, and final treat for Jeremy. I got this honeycomb, so it was marked down to 70 cents. And that was just sitting as I approached the register. So I was like, thank you very much. Grabbed that. Oh, I forgot one of the most important things. We did have some Lamington fingers. They disappeared pretty quickly this week. These are Scott's favourite. We put these in the freezer and then he just comes and takes them a couple at a time. Oh, and someone did ask me in the comments. Yes, I freeze them. Yes, they. you just put them in the lunchbox and they defrost defrost by recess no they don't go mushy they still hold their shape you could put them in there unfrozen you could put them in there frozen and defrost by recess they're soft they're still moist um they're not dry yet yeah, and they're yeah they're still in there in their shape you're not going to have mush like any other cake that might defrost that falls apart these will still look exactly the same as what you did when you put them in there. So if you're worried about the look, the taste, the texture, it will not change. It will just be a bit colder when it's frozen. But yeah, from freezer to lunchbox, do not worry. That is everything for this haul. Let us check out our clearance haul. Okay guys, just a little bit of a clearance haul for you. These were collected over a couple of days as I kind of went into a food land that was near a Coles. We've also gone to NQR. So I just collected what I found around the house. There are a few things that are missing. I'm not even gonna worry about it. There was like a little chocolate bar that was like 99 cents and a few other bits and pieces that seem to have magically disappeared around the house. So we'll go through what we do have. First thing I got was a Nesca Mocha, it's in a can, 250 mils. It was on clearance for 80 cents. It was on a shelf all on its own. This was awesome. It wasn't chilled, so I had to come home and chill it. Uh, but once I did and drank it, yeah, it tasted a lot like Farmer's Union iced coffee. So I was super happy with that. And if I ever see it chilled at a really good price, because normally it's about $3 or something, I would buy it again. But it has to be 80 cents or less because... Yeah, and now that I've found this for 80 cents, not going back. I got for free at Foodland two hand sanitizers that were giving away two free with every for every customer. So that was good. Got a packet of these LCM sparkle bars. They were $1.60. We're getting a little bit addicted to LCM bars. Good alternative to muesli bars. 
got a 15 value pack of LCMs here was $3.50 there was a massive trolley of stuff I just grabbed a couple of things could I make my own LCM bars at home maybe will I no because I have made them once before and no the texture is not the same as these and that's very important in my house so and also it doesn't come in the cute packaging and I know it's more packaging for schools just my children are old enough to open the packaging Shh. moving on I uh, went to NQR and then we got these LCMs because they were $3 but I only got one packet this time but then I did get two packets of this coffee because it was on sale for $7.50 it was the only two packs on the shelf apparently they'd sold out been selling all day so I was happy to get the last two packs this worked out to be about 28 cents per sachet compared with it's about 32 cents when the 10 packs are on special so just a little bit of savings but hey a saving nonetheless two packs of these multi-grain crackers Jeremy eats these in sets of three <laughs> It annoys me, but he enjoys to have a savoury snack sometimes as well as sweet. And um, apparently these were popular. <laughs> Tim Tams with a Biscoff, I think it is. Oh, Banoff? Banoff. You know that top apple, banana, cream, caramel pie thing? That word. That's what that was. Apparently not for Kira, but everyone else seemed to say they were good, so they're gone. I got three Belvedere Golden Grain Little Biscuits. These are so cute and great to just grab and throw in the bag. They were three for five dollars um, or two dollars each. And then I grabbed four of these Snowy River Pasties because they were a dollar twenty-nine each. And Kira really likes pasties, so I throw that in there. Especially if we end up having like a chicken kiev or something that she doesn't eat, she can have a pasty instead. Oh, and then Foodland, I got this pumpkin for 99 cents. Pretty good, decent size actually. So I will cut that up and throw it in the freezer. Um, I think there was, now that I think about it, a packet of biscuits, those Krispy Kreme inspired shapes. And... Oh, a violet crumble was on special and that was it so nothing to see here <laughs> all gone okay enjoy the what's for dinner mm -hmm.